shake, rattle and roll. This is the suitcase torture chamber, punishing every bag, proving it can hack the rough and tumble of life on the road. And what we simulate here is the real life of a suitcase. 50 cycles here, 10,000 drops there. No mercy in this test lab, where they randomly test samples plucked from the factory floor. Each operator assembles a complete suitcase. On average, they uh, assemble 80 pieces a day. That's around five minutes per case, and the pressure's on to be both efficient and precise. Each individual assembly operator has a number, and that number goes inside the case. This is the key to Samsonite's quality control, because if the case arrives at the shop with a fault in it, they can trace it all the way back to the person who made it. After more than a century in the business, Samsonite is several times larger than any competitor. They face several challenges to maintain that lead. Durability is a given, as the chief executive himself makes clear. You can see that this product is none the worse for wear. But the key for luggage makers today is responding to the constant changes in the way we travel. People's requirements are changing all the time. And just to give you one example, the cases that we sell today are probably half the weight that they were five years ago. And people are much more concerned now about how much cases weigh because it's obviously easier to use a lighter case, but also it can cost you money. There's a, an area here I can also fill up. And that's really what people are after these days, isn't it? They don't want to pay for the extra kilos. What they want is something they can stuff into an overhead locker. Small enough to stuff into the locker or light enough to get the most bang for your buck at check-in. The challenge lies in developing the latest and lightest technology. It only takes about a handful of these pellets to make an entire case. This is my sort of um, case that I'll use for... A you can put into that any size of computer. One of the challenges for us is to meet the space limitations of airlines whilst at the same time offering the business person the opportunity to put everything they want to take away with them for a two or three day trip. The days of the steamer trunk are long gone. Today's bags have to be light, tidy and tough, which means most of us only buy a new one once every five years. You pride yourselves on building luggage to last, but you want people to keep buying luggage as well. I would never worry, actually, about selling a product that lasted a long time. There's always new people who are travelling, there are always new products to invent. So even though people may have a few cases up there in the attic, that's not a worry for us. And thanks to this lineup, whenever you do fish it out the attic, it should bounce back however heavy the landing. Rosie Tompkins, CNN, Udenau, Belgium. Shake, rattle and roll. This is the suitcase torture chamber, punishing every bag, proving it can hack the rough and tumble of life on the road. And what we simulate here is the real life of a suitcase. 50 cycles here, 